In the previous training video, we learned how to create a table, but if you have a table in your Word document and you want to use that rather than recreate it here, here are some options. Well, first of all, let me go ahead and minimize this down to the taskbar so you can see that I've got my ghost hunting income document. And double click to open it up, and there's my table. Now, it's important that one of the ways that I show you how to go ahead and to bring that over into your PowerPoint onto that slide, that well, any slide that all you have in this document is a table because if you have any extra information within that document it's going to be brought over with it at least the way that I'm going to be showing you and the first way that I want to show you is by inserting it as an object so let's go ahead and close out and keep in mind that the text in the document is black why because when I restore my PowerPoint window here the background is going to be black so after I insert it as an object well black against black I'm not going to see anything so here we go. How to insert it as an object. Come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the text group, and it's right there. Object. Embedded objects or documents or other files you have inserted into this document. Instead of having separate files, sometimes it's easier to keep them all embedded in a document. So I'm embedding it all here, but let's go ahead and click on it and see what options we get. So what we want to do is not create a new one. We want to create it from a file that's already out there. So let's go ahead and browse for it. And it's on my desktop. So I can come over here after selecting desktop in the navigation pane to the desktop on my computer. And it's Ghost Hunting Income. Double click. And let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie. I'll show you what happens when you link it, meaning that any changes you make in that document will reflect the changes here and then displaying it as an icon. But let's keep it simple here, then click Okie Dokie, and see it's black, because it's black against black. So what we need to do is to change that color is to go ahead and double click on it, and it freaks out. And you can see the table now, but we couldn't see it because, you know, black against black. Let's go ahead and hover over one of the resizing handles so we can stretch this open and out, and then come in here and stretch the table inside of it by clicking and dragging and stretching it out. And then we need to change the color from black to white, so let's click and drag, and okay, that's not going to work. It's not going to select over here. So let's do the shortcut keys, Control A, A as in all, and then we can go ahead and right-click on the selection, and in the mini formatting toolbar, let's go ahead and click, well, there's, it already was selected, but let's go ahead and select it again, white. Change is white, and let's right-click again on the selection and increase the font size because it's so teeny tiny. Let's do 36. That's going to be pretty big, but let's go ahead and see. Click off and OK, and then click off. That's how it looks. Of course, you can click on it and drag it around, and not too bad. So if I go back and I do this again, and I say link to it, any changes that I make within the Word document will update it here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select it, delete it, and then come back up here to insert text group as an object, create from file, browse for it. It's on the desktop and it's right there, ghost hunting, double click, and then let's go ahead and link it, and then click okie dokie, it freaks out. Now since it's linked to the document, if I double click on this to make changes to it, it's not going to open up as an embedded object, it's actually going to take me to the Word document, double click, takes me to the Word document, because it's linked. So, again, it's important to keep in mind that I don't have anything in addition to the table here, because if I did, it would pull it over. So any changes I make here, like with numbers or even, well, I better do control A, even the color and the size, so right click on it and change it to white and change it to size 36 and then save it and then close out. What's going to happen? Oh, I'm nervous. Well, okay. It updated. I just have to go ahead and click and drag to open this up more. So oh, that's not too bad. Cool. Now you can do it that way, or let's select it, hit the delete key. Let's come up here and insert it as an object again, because the final thing I want to show you, create from file, browse, desktop, and then ghost hunting, is to display it as an icon. It's Microsoft Word. You can change the icon if you want to choose another one, but I'll keep it simple and just leave it as this icon here. So when I click okie dokie, oh brother, let's click and drag this and it starts getting blurry. In any case, it's an icon there. So if you want to go ahead and double click on that, it opens up Word. And it's just basically a link to the document here. It doesn't display anything in it. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And with it selected, delete it.
And one last thing that I want to show you is, let's go ahead and just insert it simply as a table, you know, copy and paste. So to do that, let's minimize this down to the taskbar. Let's double click to open up Word. And go ahead and let's click on the tag of the table. Now, I recommend that you watch my Word training video on tables because I go into it in so much greater detail than what you'll see in PowerPoint. Because again, PowerPoint's trying to be the jack of all trades to make something presentable where Word specializes in word processing and tables and things like that and Excel and charts, which we'll cover that in a later training video. And what I show you about charts in PowerPoint is just basically the basics to get you going because, again, Excel is the specialist on charts. In any case, to go ahead and select your table, you can click on the tag and then come up here and just click on Copy, and it's copied, or Control-C, and then go ahead and close out. And then restore your PowerPoint and right-click in a blank area here. And you got your options for your table. You can use the destination styles, keep the source formatting, embed it. That looks kind of nice, well, bigger. And then we've got picture, which you can't edit it if you keep it as a picture or keep text only. So if I do keep text only, let's go ahead and click on the content box to delete that and click over here and drag it over. And that way, if I want to make any changes to it, and go ahead and highlight everything here, make it bold and beautiful, change it. Let's come up here, click on the Format tab, seize it as a text box, and so you can go ahead and add some color to it. Oh, that kind of pops. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.